Yeah. So maybe this is a good segue to talk about um, how you guys got into kind of the product side on providing people with really interesting methylene blue products. So Dr. Warren, you have been a you know clinician for a very long time, for a long time, and you've had lots of- very long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's me showing respect. Um, um, so yeah, so a, a long time. And, uh, and you got really excited about methylene blue and wanting to to bring more interesting kind of combinations of uh, uh, of ingredients to to the to people. Yeah, correct? yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Because you know when the post COVID patients come to your office and they're just miserable and they just look at you, well, they go up to the hospitals or the universities and they don't have any answers except for more drugs. And those drugs cause drug drug interactions and they get more side effects. So when they come here sort of desperate, and you could do something like an IV with some vitamin C's and some minerals and other B vitamins and then add methylene blue and they start feeling better. Boy, the word passes that they're feeling better. And then, you know, then we start putting the tablets and like Dan said, try different products and combinations. Some people don't like, you know, the, the caffeine idea. So we put it with vitamin C as a, an oral form, but we're getting people that can start taking something that's simple with no side effect. There's no drug drug interactions. There's no drug that you can take with methylene blue, except for, like I said, if you're on high, high doses or SSRIs, there's one other, one other caveat. And that is if you have that G6P def, you know, deficiency, which rarely people do. And if they do, they know about it by now because it's hereditary. That's another sort of contraindication. But other than that, there's really no contraindication. So we're able to apply it to a lot of different patients. And that makes me feel better inside. I'm able to do something simple to make such a big difference in their lives. And they really appreciate it. It's fun to hear all the people writing back and say, man, I'm off my Adderall. My kids are off Adderall. I'm feeling better. I can focus or I have more energy. Well, that makes us all feel a lot better. Mm, yeah. And Dan, how did you get into all this? Is it because of Dr. Warren? Well, yes. Yeah, so Dr. Warren works with Dr. Warren uh, for, ma for many years now, but uh, also our co-founder, Darren Lopez, uh, has also been doing a lot in the nutraceutical space as well. Mm -hmm. And so uh, in into sports and athletics, uh, into health and wellness, um, and, and really in this nutritional space specifically. And we were, um, you know, one of the things that's, that's really neat about our product is we talk about methylene blue. And one of the things we did is, um, well, we did, we did a lot of testing. We even bought the SARS-CoV-2 virus from uh, the CDC and actually did testing with it on our mineral oxide. Um, but one of the things that's really neat about our mineral oxide is it's a stabilized oxygen, but it includes many other, uh, uh, you know, um, well, as magnesium chloride, many other things that are, are in that as well. But with that stabilized oxygen, it's able to supercharge the ability of the methylene blue to oxygenate cellularly. And mm. so we're getting better respiration because we're getting more oxygen that that methylene blue is carrying. The so other is thing that too in is, all your products in, in all the yeah. different forms? No, it, that happens to be in our what we call our brain fog, which is our liquid tincture. Okay. And the reason why it is only in the liquid tincture or in liquid is because uh, that mineral oxide only comes in a in a uh, liquid mm -hmm. as far as when you make it. So it, okay. it does that. But it also helps vitamin C to be able to uh, be absorbed uh, cellularly as well, rather than having a, you know, a lot of vitamin C is not very well um, absorbed. But with the mineral oxide, it's absorbed cellularly very quickly. And so that's a little different when it comes to the brain fog. So we're getting more oxygenation. We're getting the minerals. We're getting the mineral chlorides, you know, so works for eczematic um, reactions throughout the body. So very helpful. Some people don't like to take a tincture. So as Dr. Warren mentioned, we have one that has our, our just our vitamin C and our methylene blue tablet, which is a swallowable oral tablet. Very convenient to take with you. Um, and that's uh, our other form of our methylene blue. What is it as called? As far as night. That one's our Neuro Pro Plus, we call it. Oh, okay. What's interesting. So I actually take both the liquid form and the Neuro Pro Plus at night. Um, so I think the the brain fog, um, the tincture is the more, it has a higher dose of methylene blue, correct? It, it doesn't, but it feels like it almost mm -hmm. to the extent because oh, you're getting that supercharged the oxygen. Okay. But on the NeuroPro Plus, it has 15 milligrams of methylene blue per dose. On the uh, brain fog, it has 10. 
Okay. Interesting. I can, you know, attest to the taste of the product. I think it's the best tasting, um, you know, oral form out there. I refuse to take other ones because I've tried. <laughs> There's no way. I just don't want to deal with it. Yeah. So actually it tastes pretty good and you can put it in the, in the back of your tongue and then drink a water right away. Right. So you barely stain your tongue. I mean, you, yeah, you can't. Okay. Correct. Yeah, if you're not careful, if you start talking before you lick, <laughs> yeah, or or you lick your teeth beforehand <laughs> or after. Yeah, so um, so what's different about your tincture compared to other tinctures out there? Um, I understand yours has vitamin C. Does no other products have vitamin C or the? Well, we have we have a patent pending on uh, on a lot of our products for combinations of methylene blue with other supplements. But one of the most important things is really that mineral oxide. Mm. It's the mineral oxide that makes the vitamin C more absorbable. And so otherwise, a lot of times you'll have uh, vitamin C, they'll put it with, um, you know, uh, as far as a fat uh, or a lipid to try and, uh, you know, have better absorption of vitamin C thoroughly. Um, and that's one of the things that's different about ours specifically. No, no other product has that. Um, when it comes to the vitamin C with the uh, methylene blue in the 15 milligram tablet, Again, that's a combination that's that's specifically ours as well. So the and then, pro, which is really important to help protect the brain, right? For yes. for people to, I guess, decrease inflammation, rejuvenate mitochondria, and all that uh, when they take it at night. Um, so, what's the difference between Neuro Pro and the Brain Fog? Besides, one is a tablet, the other one's liquid. Um, it's that mineral oxide. Okay. So it's a liquid mineral oxide. That is the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you'll feel a little bit of the difference. If people need to take more uh, methylene blue, if they have you know further dementia or other things they're concerned with, you can take two tablets and get up to 30 milligrams um, a day. Um, and so it just depends. And some people just like the convenience of being able to take it with them, not worrying about maybe staining their clothes or, or dropping it or having you know things of that nature or, or taste. Um, depending on, on who's using it, but, yeah. um, very convenient. And you know what, here's the other thing is, uh, the, the, the who, and, uh, some other places have also said the methylene blue is important, um, product to keep on hand, um, for emergencies. So it's very easy to keep that, you know, in your, you know, bag of tricks in the long run, um, as far as having methylene blue on hand, uh, you know, in the long run for emergency use. So emergencies, what kind of emergencies are you? Interesting. There's a, a podcast, one of the big, you know, podcast people in the country said, man, if you're going to have a heart attack, you'd want methylene blue in one pocket and aspirin in the other pocket. Hmm. So that the aspirin stops the clotting and the methylene blue opens up the vessels and brings oxygen to those mitochondria. So that was his conclusion. He's a major, major uh, podcast guy. And if you look it up, he says, if I had a heart attack, I'd want methylene blue in one pocket and aspirin in the other pocket. So I thought that was pretty interesting for the for that type of emergency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. it's, it's really antiviral, antifungal. So when you think about that, right, and if we couldn't get other medications or there were problems, you, were or you have an emergency pack, you know, you never know what happens in the world. And after what's happened the last few years, we never know if we're going to be able to get certain things. And, you know, even even other things, Adderall shortages, things of that nature. So to have that on hand, it's stable. You can keep it, use it. And, you know, a lot of people have emergency, uh, you know, storage or kits or whatnot. It's just good to have. And it's been yeah. used for a long time with people with small doses of the methylene blue with vitamin C for urinary tract infections, both to treat it, but also for those uh, people who have chronic UTIs, taking the methylene blue with the vitamin C was used even before we started doing it to stop bladder infections in, in women, especially chronic ones. So you'll see people using it for a UTI and then just keeping on it just to prevent those chronic UTIs. So that's another amazing factor. I guess we keep remembering yes. all these things we do with it, talking to you. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I understand the, um, are you guys the only one, a company that's providing methylene blue in a tablet? As far as, I don't know if Dan knows better. Just Yeah, I'm here. Better. I had to turn on the lights so you could actually see me again. I kept getting darker and darker. Yeah, so, yes, so... as far as I know, we're the only ones that have it in yes, a are. all of them. Yeah, um, as a people, may, tablet. people may want to ask, you know, it, it, it's methylene blue in a dry tablet form as effective as the ones that's in liquid form. Yes. Absolutely. So you guys have done 
studies showing the exact effectiveness. Effectiveness. Right. I think you know there's some people need more of the oxygen they or more traumatic brain injuries. They use the one with the mineral oxide, but in most cases the oral tablets seem to work as well. Um, you know, there's some people like to use, like you said yourself, some people like the combination of both and that's what they do. So, um, you know, we just play, people play with it and they come up with their own combination of what makes them feel the best as, as you should. Everybody should have sort of titrated to their own, you know, how they feel and how they do. So mm -hmm. we have some people that do like you, the methylene blue tablets in the morning and then take the, the mineral oxide one at night. So. And, and one thing uh, that's uh, that Dr. Warren brought up here just a little bit ago was, um, you know, just the health in the gut, right? <coughs> Excuse me. And so taking it actually, you know, uh, orally and letting it dissolve in the gut has a lot of benefit as well. Um, mm -hmm. Along with taking it orally, uh, as far as the tincture, you're still getting that absorption very quickly uh, into the bloodstream. So it's a very small molecule, so it absorbs very quickly and very well. 